Hello, I'm Joe Wren. No charges will be filed against five people cited for protesting an alleged white supremacist at the Bloomington Farmers Market last year. The Purple Shirt Brigade, which says it engages in creative nonviolent protest, was protesting the presence of vendor Sarah Dye at the market, a self-described white identitarian. Any advocate for free speech, whether they hate us or love us, should be thrilled that we're not prosecuted. In a statement, Monroe County Prosecutor Erica Oliphant says her office evaluated specific facts and circumstances around the citations and decided not to prosecute. Indiana's infant mortality rate has dropped at the highest rate in six years. State health officials say the decline is a result of many programs working together, including resources geared toward mothers with substance use disorder and mothers in minority groups. Well, another piece of Bloomington's Trades District is being developed to grow business ventures. A group of local companies is planning on renovating and expanding the historic Kiln Building north of the mill. I'm looking forward to that trades district growing. It's, it is focused on being a center of employment, uh, jobs downtown, and it's exciting to see that happen. The kiln is a 100-year-old building originally part of the Showers Brothers Furniture Company complex. The kiln collective is buying the building for $50,000 from the city, but it'll need a lot of work. Affordable housing duplex Beeline Heights opened last August and construction of a 360-car parking garage in the park started in December. Now, here's a quick check of the forecast tonight. Partly cloudy, lows down to 23 degrees. In the five-day forecast tomorrow, some rain, 37, more rain on Saturday. Then temperatures dropping off, highs in the lower 20s by Sunday. More news online at WTIUnews.org.